Hey, good afternoon. What? Good afternoon on uh, Facebook on this uh, weathery day. <laughs> the lights are flickering um, in my studio, and I'm praying that we don't lose power. I uh, haven't lost haven't lost power since um, since I've been at this new location. But um, we take these off because I turned them off so everybody can hear me. So I've been wanting to talk about this topic for uh, for a while talk about this topic and give you some information on what I know and tell you why there are some things that I'm just not going to paint anymore. And I want also people to uh, tap in. I do want you to like, tag, and share. If you know other up-and-coming artists, if you are uh, potentially wanting to get into the creatives, you know, whether that be airbrushing or um you know, customizing T-shirts, you know, creating T-shirts, designs, um, you know, anything along the creative lines like that. I see I got one person watching. Hey, uh, if you guys can uh, shoot some stuff in it, like, you know, tag or, I mean, comment and tell me that you're watching, you know, uh, then I know I'm not in this space by myself. But I know I'm not in this space by myself because I got at least four eyes on me right now. I've been wanting to um I've been wanting to come on and talk about this for a while. Um and I just like today I just said I'm gonna go ahead and you know, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about hey Tanisha, <clears throat> hey Zeta, hey Martini Martini, am I saying it right? My, girl. <laughs> All right. Whew, so I got enough people watching, but I wanna talk to you about this because this is this is important to me. It it may not be as important to other people, but um, this is something that I need to talk about. And I've, I've been talking to other artists that I mentor about this. Um, hey girl, how are you today? It's, it's Wendy Friday. I think it's past now on my side of town. Um, but I, I do want to talk about this right quick because a lot of people have some misconceptions, some misunderstandings, and then there are some people that may have questions and then there are some people that may want to have some questions um, answered, but at the same time, I'm here to tell you that I'm not an expert at, you know, as far as, because uh, I'm not a lawyer, but I can speak on the experience of what I've, um, ex what I've dealt with and what I know other people have dealt with and what I've been seeing and some of the stuff that I do know and uh, just some information that was shared to me, you know, saying for other lawyers that I've talked to. Okay, so you... On this train, so uh, as you saw my my topic, I was talking. I said copyrights and copying. Like, is it cool to do it or not? So, being a airbrush artist and being in this creative space for thirty years now, a lot of these things I didn't think about. You know, when I first started airbrushing, I didn't even it wasn't even a thing to me. You know, I didn't even think about it. So, as I've continued to you know be a, a creator, create a creative person in this uh, space. There are some things that I've seen happen. And I can tell you some things that I've experienced on my own. So let's talk about the copyrights. So right now, um, I think it happened about two months ago. Um, I saw a video. Like I, I think I shared it in my story before. But I saw a video that somebody sent me on TikTok um, because I had did uh, some cartoon characters that they said, well, look, I took my post down because I didn't want you, you know, to get in trouble. And it was a, a hoodie and a t-shirt that I did uh, in, in relation to um, a Disney character. So I did that and, you know, I said, okay, well, I respect it. So then I watched the video. It was a real short video that a lady posted um, when she was talking about that Disney was pretty much doing a, a complete sweep, you know, across social media. And they were, you know, pretty much going out the artist pages like your Instagram, especially Etsy. Instagram, Etsy, um, Facebook, you know, other um, social media outlets that you may have, you know, uh, and it's just a warning. You know, some people don't take heed to the warning, but uh, I'm just in a place right now where it, I can't afford to do that. I can't afford to play around with it. And some people get mad, you know, saying like, because I'm turning more people down uh, from doing particular characters because these lawsuits are not nothing to play with. I mean, they're really, you know, coming after people. Now, I'm not going to uh, say this person's name, but I do know of an individual that was doing some creative work for me, some stuff that I don't know how to do. And 
um, they were approached by a high fashion brand, um, you know, based off some listings that they had on uh, Etsy shop. And what ended up happening was they they didn't even get a cease and desist um, letter. Like what that means is that when when you get this from a law company, that means or a lawyer representing a a brand or a company, they're basically giving you a warning, saying, "Hey, you need to stop doing this," you know, or there there will be repercussions if you continue. So he wasn't even given a warning. I mean, he just got a straight out letter from the law firm that was representing a high fashion brand, and. Ever since that has happened to him, he has not been uh, back in that business at all. Uh, he was providing a service for me. There were some things I was needing made, you know, for shoes that I was doing, mainly mainly shoes. I did order a few stencils, but um, he was he was definitely sued, and he was sued. Um, he had to retain a lawyer, and he actually settled out of court. But the out of court fees he had to pay out of pocket. Because once these law firms come after you, you know, saying for copyright infringements, you know, they will want to seize your uh, financial records. And their financial records is just they want to see your sales. They want to see what uh, sales have contributed to you using other people's brands, other people's um, logos and things like that. And so this is real, very real. So he was sued. He has not been back in his business since that time. It's been like... I know it has to be like three three or more years. I know it was, this was before COVID. So <clears throat> he also gave me a warning. Now, this is something that as old as I am, I still made a mental mistake. You know what I'm saying? And I was doing this based off of, well, it's just one design. It's just one shoe. You know, um, nobody's going to see it. You know, ain't no big deal. That's what I thought. So I had one listing of a, a high fashion brand logo on some shoes I did and I didn't do a whole lot of these I was just starting to do them and I had sold a few off Etsy and Etsy sent me a lawyer letter uh, communication on behalf of LV let me see this what it say oh, I'm missing all these uh, comments and stuff hold on hold on let me see so this mean we can no longer get custom shoes and you don't post it and have the client not post the work you can still get custom shoes from me I'm just telling you right now, I know I'm no longer doing anything Disney, period. Um, they're one of the main companies that I know are coming after um, artists. They just did a sweep. They just did a sweep about, I think it was about two months ago. Um, I know of, I didn't I didn't follow this artist. Uh, somebody had told me about them. This, this artist actually customized the shoes. They're not from Birmingham, not from my area, but um, their complete Instagram page was taken down. I don't know if they had anything else like listed on the Etsy shop, but I know their Instagram page was completely wiped out, and they're starting over um, because they had some Disney characters. Now, you're going to still see some stuff pop up because there's some people that just don't care. They're just going to keep paying it, um, and and people feel like, well, there's so many people that are doing this stuff. Like, who's really going to come after me? You know what I'm saying? Now, I can't speak on behalf of people that do like the decor, like the decorations and things like that. I haven't heard... Of anybody, you know, approaching because you can buy this stuff, you know, say out of the stores. You can go to Walmart and buy, you know, plates and cups and, you know, tablecloths and things like that. I don't think that's an issue. I believe the issue is recreating it, you know, say by using um, your own artistry, meaning that you're redrawing, repainting, you know, um, remaking, you know, saying things like that. You know, it could be on shoes, T-shirts. It don't matter. Um, even backdrops, things that like is an artist that you are actually recreating and repainting these things. So, um, for example, like Coco Melon actually gave me permission. They, I, I shared it. Um, gosh, man, what was I think I tagged them, and they reposted it in a page on Facebook, um, the community page. They said we're going to share the shoes that you did in our community page with the parents. Now, as far as me trying to, like, <laughs> advertise it, like, to get orders, uh, I don't think they care for that too much. Um, but they did allow me to share it, you know. So if the parent wants to come to me directly, you know, um, they could, you know what I'm saying. So I, I was never flagged, you know what I'm saying, by Coco Melon. They never said anything to me uh, about that. But other artists <laughs> did copy. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember, but I went viral in, I think it was 20, 2020 or 2021, with the Coco Melon outfit that I did. Um, oh, man, what is his name? Oh, my God, she going to get me. But, uh, ah, look, Rich. Yo, his nickname is Rich. So, 
I never never had anybody approach me about it, but I did have all the artists that were copying um the way that I did the particular design. Now somebody said, What did you do about that? Um, just blocked them. You know what I'm saying? Because there was one artist on Instagram who just kept repeating some of my artwork and other people was telling me about it. and I'm like, What is this guy doing? So what I decided to do is yes, I did I did block that artist and this is the reason why I got a trademark for Erica B uh, for the state of Alabama, which is good for five years. Like every five years, I need to renew this. So what that means is that once my logo appears on my original work, not not other people's designs, not other people's um, artwork, on my original designs, that is mine. So that means that if I want to pursue, you know, uh, a lawsuit against another artist or somebody else that's infringing upon my work, I have the right to do that. You know, because I have um, sell the trademark, you know, when my logo appears on my original designs. So, I'm trying to make sure I miss no comments. So, I make sure I try to do that to other people too. And I have people that send me other people artwork. And, they, and, and there are a lot of artists that do this. We will tell you, I'm not going to repeat or copy what somebody else did. This community of art is large it is very large but the community of airbrush artists is large the community of custom shoes yes it's large but a lot of us are we know each other because we we see each other's work you know what I'm saying like we're always posting on social media um a lot of us follow each other and so just out of respect there is like a code like what we're saying hey i see that logo i know that artists i'm not going to repeat what they did so uh, with the, the high fashion brand that I was approached by, I'll just say the initials LV, um, I got a letter and I got an email uh, from them pretty much warning me, um, you know, that if I, pretty much if I continue, you know, then I was going to get in some serious trouble. Yeah, that kind of, that, that made me very nervous. So I reached out to a lawyer uh, myself and got some information on what do I do, you know, so they started to explain some stuff and they said, listen, at this point, I wouldn't even mess with it, you know what I'm saying, because you don't know if you're being watched. My mentor, um, I don't know if he's going to get on here and watch, but Malcolm McRae, um, he actually is creating his own art right now. Like, everything that he's doing, it's his, okay, um, my, I think my Wi-Fi got knocked off. Um, it's his original design work. So, um, everything that he has is his, you know what I'm saying, so like all his paintings, his um, digital art and everything that he's creating that's his original artwork he told me this he told me this um it was back in i think we had a conversation about it in 2020 that he said a lot of these things are going to really start start to get serious and i said what do you mean he said like even with the custom shoes he said it's not going to be as big of a market as you think he said this is why you need to start creating your own artwork erica so i started to think more about it especially when i got that lv uh warning you know, that made me very nervous and it made me take it very seriously, you know. And so <laughs> my mom was like, why would you put, hey, Teresa, why would you put those shoes back on the list for sale when you know your other friend um, was sued? And I was like, I don't know. I was like, I was just thinking like, you know, this made me money. And that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? I got caught up in thinking that I need to generate some sales. And I did that and ended up you know, getting on um, that warning. So I made sure I go, I'll go through my pages and, and especially this last time when Disney went through and they just was like suing and shutting people down. It was like, Ooh, and a lot of people are like, well, Disney is so big. Um, let's talk about Nike. Nike is so big. You know, they got all the money, blah, 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 blah. Why are they coming after us? But you have to think about it. Would you want somebody coming and taking your original stuff and stealing it and making money off of you? Like, it doesn't matter. It's all about integrity. So, I just make sure um, that I don't, you know, repeat a lot of these designs that I see. Some people even send me screen printed shirts, send me stuff that's um, on the internet. And I tell people, why not go to the original company and just order the shirt? Well, well I don't trust that website. You know, then I'll go and look and I'll, I'll see about five or six other websites that sell the same shirt. You know what I'm saying? So, because they probably have obtained the rights to be able to repeat these designs that you're asking me to take long hours and cutting out the design and painting it and repainting it. And, and like I said, there are some artists that just, they don't care. They don't mind. I am one that does um, because I definitely don't want to be um, in that position where I'm sitting in a 
room with a lawyer and, you know, all of my financial records are being seized and then I'm having to pay all this money um, straight up out of pocket. And the last lawsuit that I saw, I think it was 20000 Um from what I understand, and this, let, me, let me tell you like this, there's a video on YouTube, and there's a gentleman, uh, T-shirt millionaires. Yeah, I watched his tutorial. I took one of his classes. All of his designs are his original artwork. Those are his original designs. He ended up having, um, as a guest on one of his shows, um, man, her name is McDonald, McDonald Law. She is in North Carolina. I was going to, um, you know, get get a session with her, um, just to get some better understanding about trademarks. Never got the chance to do that. But the video that he has on his YouTube channel, his name is Charles Smith with um, T-Shirt Millionaires. There is a video that he did with, um, I can't think of her first name. I just know it's McDonald Law, and she's North Carolina. She's um, She is um, a black lawyer. She actually has her own law firm, uh, successful, but she also has her own T-Shirt brand, that she created on her own. She said she created with her um, roommate, uh, classmate from college, and they have their own name brand of their T-shirts. So pretty much she said that when she was an intern, listen to this very carefully, because a lot of people think that these companies are way too big to be having a time to come after you. Of course they're big and they're busy, but what do they do? They hire other people to do the work for them. So... Um, and this is what Malcolm also told me. They hire third-party companies, listen, to spend the time to surf the net, to go look for people that are infringing on their brand, on their logo. Meaning, what, is, what do you mean infringing? Meaning you're copying. And so she said as an intern, you know, for, for her lawyer um, degree, that was a part of her job. And, and several of them. They, they would sit on the computer and surf the, the Internet looking for... Um, the designs that represented these brands to see if other people, other artists, were infringing upon their logos, their original uh, concepts. And then you will get a, a letter. You will get a letter, you will get a, either a cease or desist, or you will get a straight up letter being sued. Like you are being summoned, you know, um, and you're being sued by this company, and this is the law firm that is representing them. This stuff is serious. Um, and also what I found out was that um, a lot of the people that are being hired, they're uh, kind of undercover, and they're joining these creative, tag a creative man, tag somebody you know that's making shirts or designing shoes and stuff like this, because this is stuff that people need to know. Um, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> I'm just sharing information, and I'm sharing firsthand uh, stuff that I've seen other people go through. Um, another artist that... Oh, me and him are really good friends. We talk often. He got a uh, he got a warning from Facebook because he did a co a collegiate logo. Yeah, so um, I don't even post that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because the collegiate stuff is also very serious. Um, now you'll see me do some Alabama stuff. Like when we did the Alabama car, it did make the news. I did reach out to a lawyer and ask him about that. Um, he said that, you know, if it was like a job that you pay and you didn't get their permission, they can have the right to come after you based on what you did and they can sue you. So I asked him, well, how much to get a clearance, you know what I'm saying, just to get it okay. And he said, well, to obtain just a, a reseller or a seller's license of their collegiate um, brand or logo, he said, you're talking about $1,000 and, and above just to retain, you know what I'm saying, that um that clearance and I'm like wow and so like when you see people just on the side of the road and they're just selling all this gear um and, and sometimes they may know and sometimes they may not know about it but like if you go down to like um the game and you just got a tent set up right there you're probably going to get approached you know so even if you open up a store in that area I'm sure you're going to get approached so like if you go like to Bama Fever uh what is it located in Trussell they have the uh, rights, they have the reseller licensing to be able to sell that collegiate gear, you know, for Alabama and for Auburn. So uh, you have to be, you know, so you have to be conscious to know that these are things, and it's and it's happening more often than none. Uh, let me go back to the people that are joining these creative groups. So there are people that are joining these groups, and I saw this on a post. This lady was sharing this information. Um, so this lady, she was making these tables. 
um, I think she was making these team tables or something, like the little um, TV dinner tables. And somebody ordered, I can't remember how many tables, it was three or six, and they pretty much paid for the order. The lady made the tables. They came to her house and to pick up the order, but they also served her with a $20,000 lawsuit letter right there. Yeah. It ain't worth it. So, like, um, somebody told me the other day on my other business page, um, they wanted something by Disney. I told them I wasn't doing it, you know, because I explained to them what happened. It's why I just go use somebody else. I was like, okay, you know, I, I'm not going to get my business shut down 30 years of experience and work, you know what I'm saying, because uh, I, based off of two shirts or based off of one pair of shoes, you know, so it's not worth it, you know. So um, people still fight, try to fight me. Um, because I tell them I'm not doing exactly what somebody else did. If you want exactly what they did, you need to go to that artist. And sometimes I even look up and find the artist for them and share with them. Well, I already reached out to them and they're busy. Well, I'm still not copying them. <laughs> if you want this done, you're going to have to get it the way that I'm going to recreate it. And I'm not talking about these um, those Disney characters. Disney is one of the main ones that's um, like very serious right now. Louis Vuitton is... You know, say one that you don't want to play with. You know, saying I, even Nike, you don't want to play with that. Um, there was a guy, I can't remember. Somebody else showed me this on Instagram where he was recreating the uh, Christian Dior shoe uh, on a T-shirt design. He was doing Nike shut him down. Now I don't know if he got a law a lawyer letter. He got some kind of communication, but they did go after him. Um, there was another gentleman that did like three a three T-shirt design. Based off a of logo, his lawsuit was seven thousand five hundred, um, and like I said, I, the twenty thousand is the highest. Hey Reggie, the twenty thousand is the highest that I, I've heard since this has been going on. So it's very real out here, everybody. It's very real. So not just like I said, copying these brands and these logos and these characters, um, just copying other artists. Oh gosh, this. Thank you, Yogi Dada. Y'all know Yogi. Yogi makes the earrings. And I remember I was making a graduation cap uh, for a young lady that was graduating from a and I had no idea. The design that her mom brought me was off of a tote bag that they had purchased from a book sale. And so I was just, I shared some snippets of it in my Insta story. And she saw it and she said, hey, Eric, she reached out to me and said, hey, Erica, she said, I know you don't know this, and you don't know this artist. She said, but the design that you're recreating, this design belongs to an artist in Atlanta. I know who that is. She said, go ahead, because I know you've already been paid. She said, finish the cap. She said, but do not post this cap. I was like, for real? She said, don't post that cap. She said, because this artist will sue. She said, I'm going to send you the, the artist page. I will show you who she is. And then she said, just scroll that page, and you're going to find the design that you have redid. And I said, I had no idea. And so I told the client, listen, I finished your daughter's cap, but I can't do anything else like this again because I was just informed that um, this belongs to another creative artist out of Atlanta. And this artist, uh, another sister, you know, said, I heard that she will uh, pursue, you know, said a lawsuit uh, for anybody that's infringing upon her original artwork. And she said, I didn't even know, Erica, she bought this bag, you know, from a, um, a book sale. And I said, I know, I didn't know, you know, but somebody else that knew her informed me. So the art community is very large, but then at the same time, it's almost like how we say in um, Birmingham, we say, man, small world. And it happens like that, you know, says sometimes in art. So just be conscious and just be aware that, uh, and there are some people that are going to see this video and go like, man, I ain't stood there. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Okay. You know, because at some point, somebody's going to say something. You know, um, like I said, there are a lot of people that are on Instagram that I'm telling you had a lot of followers pages are gone. Had to start over from scratch. If you don't have your pictures and your artwork in your Google photos or backlog, then you've lost a lot of time and effort and you know energy um, to post. Unless you have it in the email or you send it to somebody in the text, like the client, you know. But that's a lot trying to go and retrack or you know get all of your pictures of your artwork back after it's been like you know just completely wiped away. You know, so 
it's not worth it. So, like I said, these third-party co companies that represent these law, I mean, law firms, they rep yeah, they represent the law firm that represents the big brands, the, the name brands um, that, you know, go after people that are infringing. And it's been going on for years. It, it didn't just start. Hey, Quito, but I noticed that it seemed like it's getting, it's getting more, it's beginning to be more prevalent. You know, and I know people feel like, well, they got so much money. Why are they coming after the little man? It don't matter. <laughs> it's just, he's still stealing. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the thing about it. Theft is theft. Um, lastly, I'll close with this. Somebody sent me a picture of some shoes they asked me to do, and it was a character. And I think it was, like, was it Grace Corner? Gracie's Corner, something like that. I'm not, I'm, I know who the character is, but the thing about it was the shoes that were sent to me was done by another artist and that artist had their Instagram name running on the side of the shoe and I said I can't do that and they was like why explain to them again about copying other artists I don't copy off other people's work because at the same time it's really unfair you know said to the to the original artist but then it's also unfair to the artist that you're asking it's like you people are trying to make us clones and we're not all gifted the same way with how we do our art that's why I tell people, look, let me do this. Let let me create it the way that I can create it for you. And that way we're all free of somebody um, saying, ooh, that's such and such work. Ooh, Erica, what you doing? You know, you know, that's blah, blah, blah work. And that's the thing you don't want coming back at you. You know what I'm saying? And so some people are like, I don't do it. I'm going to tell people not to uh, post me, not, not to tag me. You don't know. You don't know what people are going to do. They may say... Um, tag you. They may put your name or, you know, and you just, it like it's not worth it. And um, and another artist was saying, man, they're trying to make it harder for us to make money out here. No. So do you not believe that the same God that gave um, the person that created um, all these other characters, you know, you're, he can't give you ideas either? You're giving too much power to to the enemy. You know, you're giving too much power to the devil. It's almost like you feel like you you gripped in to and doped into believing that this is the only way that you can make um, really nice content or create your own artwork. That's not true. God's not running out of ideas. God's not. He He's still pouring out wisdom. He's still giving out creative ideas. It's like when I designed the coloring book, I didn't copy that off anybody. The concept and the way that God gave it to me, He gave it directly to me. What we have to do is just Rely and trust on God. Pray and allow Him to give you the designs. He'll give it to you. Just spend time in His presence and let Him show you what you can do. Because He was the one that gave you the gift. Not the devil. That's the one who wants to pervert your gift. He wants to make you believe that you got to thieve and copy and be like somebody else in order to make it. Um, I had put up a post earlier, but I took it down. Um, but I'll address it here. The reason why, and, and I still get fought on this, the profanity. I can't, I, I'm not telling you that I don't have a history of doing it. I did myself. I used to do it all the time. I curse so much that what they say, man, you curse so much, you like a sailor, Erica. Like, good God, you know, my mouth was terrible. But now, I mean, I don't do that stuff, and I don't even paint it. I, don't, I, I did, I've been down that road where I painted that stuff, you know, wrote that stuff. I don't do that anymore. And God has proven himself over and over again to me that you don't have to compromise in order for me to make your name great. And it's because I'm exalting God first. And God's creating room. He's opening doors for favor because I relied on him and I trusted him with my gift. And I told him when I first started airbrushing, God, give me the designs that you want me to have because I don't want to look like I'm doing what everybody else is doing at the beach. I want to have my own style, my own designs. And over these 30 years, um, the first beginning of it, like I said, I wasn't right. I wasn't doing it for the right reason. But then when I found my purpose and then I'm striving to continue to do what God has led me to do and turning down designs, um, the stuff that I've done that does not have any profanity in it has actually gone um, viral. A lot of that stuff has gotten more views. It's gotten um, more attention than um, the people that I turn. I, 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 I watch the people that came to me that won the profanity. They didn't even get nearly as half of the attention. Not even close to half 
um, if they just would have stuck with me and did it the way that I told them, well, no, I don't want that. I want this, you know, and because one girl was like, well, that's what I want. Well, this is what you're about to get. <laughs> you don't get these rules. You're about to get this list of these are the things that we don't do, you know, and, and I have an open conversation because I want people, I want to open people's minds and ideas to let them know it is okay to not compromise. Trust me, watch what happens because I'm going to pray over your stuff and everything's going to be okay. The people that come to Erica B. Airbrush Sign, the people that come to Prophetic Airbrush, knows that, man, I'm in good hands because I'm asking God to get in these hands. All right. So I hope that helps. Um, like I said, if anybody got any questions, feel free to inbox me. Um, if I wasn't clear on some stuff I talked about, or you can tag me. Uh, I'm sorry, you can text me uh, 205-881-3202. I'm just telling you, just stay clear of copying other people's artwork, other people's brands, logos, um, because it's getting it's getting really sketchy. It's like I said, it's getting more prevalent. Um, than it was where other artists are being sued and they're being um, just stripped of their identity. Pages are going away. Um, you know, just their business is in jeopardy. And for a lot of us, this is a part of our livelihood. You know, so some people, this is not their job. But as an artist, this is how we, you know, um, re retain income. And so you have to be very mindful of the laws. Um, you may want to reach out to a, a copyright trademark patent lawyer, ask them, hey, mom, ask them some questions about it. Um, just get clarity on, you know, on some of the things I talked about. Ask them because it's it's out here. I'm telling you, there are a lot of artists that are just pages just gone and they have to start all over, especially if you got like more than 10,000 followers on some of your social media page. You know how tough that is to, you know, get some of these people to actually follow and trust you, man, you know what I'm saying, you just, just, just stay true, stay true to who you are, allow God to give you the designs, allow him to give you the ideas, I mean, you'll still see me create um, other uh, characters that, you know, are okay, but I know there are certain ones that right now I'm, I'm definitely staying away from, there are certain logos and brands I'm not doing, I already know, because I've seen it enough to know that these people are not playing, they will. They don't care how much money you have or don't have. You are stealing from what they have created, and that's that's their right, and that's the law. All right. So I got to get some work done. Want to come off you? Um, just caught this coming on the tail end of it, or you see it pop up in the feed. Go back and start over and watch from the beginning and uh, listen to me talk about. Like, you know, some of these laws and is the copying okay and why I feel like it's not and the things I've seen that have, have happened to other people and even the thing that happened to me. Thank God that nobody um, had came out for me for any fees or money, but, you know, I did. I still have that email, you know, from um, LV and <laughs> I won't be going back down that road. All right, so this is your girl Erica B. I got to get some work done. Uh, thank God for this storm passing on by and it's going to continue to pass by. I pray you guys are safe and I speak Psalm 91 over your day. All right. Love you guys. Bye.